This is an achievement. I don't care how many PhDs you have on your wall, really. And I'm working on three myself, but I really don't care how many you have. I don't care how many homes you have. I don't care how many beautiful cars you have. I don't care how many beautiful children you have. Nowhere will you find for me in Allah's book or in the Sunnah of Allah's Messenger that anywhere that says this is an achievement. Nowhere. Actually, the more of this you have, the more Allah says it is a fitna upon you. The more Allah says it is a test to you. The more Allah says it is a distraction for you. The more Allah says it is even an enemy to you. So that's not an achievement. Allah says this, when you get that and then give it back to me, then you have achieved something in this life. Then you have achieved something for me in this life and in the hereafter. ذَلِكُ الْفَوْزُ الْأَذِيمُ So Allah wants to give you avoidance of a painful punishment, brothers and sisters. Well, I think we have sisters, any sisters here at all? Brothers and sisters, Allah wants to avoid you a painful punishment. He wants to forgive you all of your sins. He wants you to go to Jannah. He wants to give you beautiful homes and he wants to give you the greatest achievement that a human being can achieve and he only asked for you to give him three things belief in him and his messenger and then obey him by working for him striving for him struggling for him and sacrificing what he has already given you that doesn't belong to you anyway for him and by doing this he will give you all of this now if that was it what else would you ask for? What else would you be willing to stand before Allah and say, I want more than this? We begin now to sound like the last man who will ever in, uh, leave Jahannam. Oh Allah, take me to this tree. And then Allah takes him, he says, okay, I won't ask you anymore, just take me to that place and this place. And finally Allah says, go into Jannah and I'll give you not only this world, but ten times of this world and everything that is in it. This is the mercy and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his slaves. He says that this is not enough. Subhanallah. He says all of this. Avoiding a painful punishment, forgiving your sins, giving you Jannah, giving you beautiful homes. That's not enough for these three things for me. That's not enough. Allah says, I'll give you two more things. I'll give you two more things. Because Allah also knows that He created us to dwell in this world for a time. And He also knows, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, azza wa jal, knows that if you do these three things, you're going to run into problems. Allah knows if you do these three things, you're going to have struggles. Allah knows if you do these three things, times are not always going to be so easy. So He put in a clause for that too. Allah says in the last part of this group of verses, which is the gift I'm going to give to you tonight. And it's the answer to this dua. Allah says, I'll give you something else which you love which you desire, which your heart burns for, that thing that you're crying through the nights of Ramadan asking me for, I'll give it to you. That which your mouth waters at the very mention of it, I'll give it to you. What is it? Nasrun min Allahi wal fathun qareeb wa bashiril mu'mineen Allah says, I'll give you help from Allah and a clear victory. So give glad tidings in the present tense of the word, give glad tidings to the believers. Allah says He will give us His help. We're asking Allah, Allahumma ansur Islami wal Muslimin. Allah is saying that, okay, it's right here. You keep asking me for something that you're not doing what it takes to get it. How foolish are now we looking before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're begging Allah for something and then we go out and do actions that are contrary to the same dua that we just made five minutes ago. Allah is saying, it's so simple. You want my help? You want my victory? And Allah says, not only will He give us help, he will give us victory. And not only will He give this Ummah victory, He says, I will give you Fathun Qareeb. A clear victory. Meaning this victory will be so clear, it will be so real, that everyone, you and everyone else in the world will know it is because it came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone around you will know that the victory Allah has given you is because you are a Muslim. This was the victory and the help given to our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam over and over again in his life. This is the Nasr min Allah wal Fathun Qareeb that was given to our beloved Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the night that he left his home to make Hijrah to al Medina, when he walked right past his enemies and they never even saw him going. This is the victory that was given to Allah uh, to our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Ummah on the day of the Battle of Badr. When had it been realistic, they should have been wiped off of the face of the earth. But even Abu Sufyan, 
after he accepted Islam, had to admit, yes, that day I did see the angels. Or not Abu Sufyan, uh, what is, who, who's, uh, the hadith, he said he saw the angels. It was not Abu Sufyan. It was, was one, uh, I think it was the, one of someone that was related to Abu Sufyan, said on the day of the battle of Badr, he saw the angels descending in white thobes to help the believers. The shaitan saw it on that day and he ran and left. This is Fathun Qareeb that Allah wants for this Ummah. It did not just belong to our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his Sahaba. It belongs to you and me. This is the same victory that was given to the Sahaba many times over throughout the world until they opened the entire world for the glory of Al-Islam. Not through dominance, but through the deen of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala conquering the hearts of individuals. Why? Because they took this formula that Allah had given them in Surah Al-Saf and they implemented it. They put it into practice. They knew what it was meant to work for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they did it and they put it in their lives. This is the victory that Allah wants for this ummah. And it can happen.